the Marcus Blake with that nurture. We're here at a luncheon uh, celebrating City Movie Grill, the Dallas Film Society, and with CEO Brian Schultz. So, after 25 years, what do you owe to the success of the Studio Movie Grill? Well, it's just a lot of hard work and passion, so our purpose is to create a positive wake in the world, opening hearts and minds one story at a time. So, when you have a mission like that, where it's really just about helping people and helping them really open their perspective, uh, every day you wake up and it's just amazing. Well, but you guys, and you guys also pride yourself on having more of a gourmet menu compared to the traditional movie and popcorn that you would get in the theaters. How did that come about? Yeah, I mean, it's all about film, food, and fun. See, I loved going to the movies, um, but since I grew up, you know, kind of in a, a poor way, um, it just wasn't the great experience. I love the stories, I love the idea of film, but I just didn't get a good service experience. So. Um, I was traveling around, I was in Bethesda, Maryland, and I had this love at first sight moment where I saw a movie theater restaurant combined. It was just frozen food and warm beer, but that's kind of the basis of Studio Movie Grill. What would a great event uh, be? What could the best movie going experience be? And we kind of have worked the last 25 years and we continue to innovate on what that could be. Now, do you have any like fan favorites of like movies that you love to see at the Studio Movie Grill, or are they all great? Well, I'm a movie crier, so I like the ones that really touch your heart. You know, movies like Wonder, okay. uh, Rudy, uh, the heartwarming stories that really make you think. You know, you could really do anything and uh, understand like what are your limitations? How can you overcome those? So those are kind of the films, and I love the films that touch just the hearts of young kids. When we have school groups in uh, Studio Movie Grill, is just a great platform. Uh, to really impact the world in a positive way, you know, it, our, our minds are getting tighter and tighter and we're kind of getting polarized so much, so Studio Movie Grill stands as a polarity to that, to open people's perspectives. As, as a movie fan, like most people, you love classic movies, um, and while other theaters like to do just different classic movies at different times, what kind of, what do you think are the best classic movies that would go great with the Studio Movie Grill? The best classic movies are the ones that the local community want. So we started off where I would just be influencing what the content would be and then we had kind of a film booking group and we realized very quickly the best way to do it is figure out what the local community is interested in and bring those topics and be a platform for those communities to see what they're interested in. So depending on the city, I think the best one for Studio Movie Grill is whatever that community is looking for. Now, in recent years, uh, Studio Movie Grill has done more with uh, film festivals and bringing independent film, yeah. especially here in Dallas. Why do you think that's important? Uh, independent film is critical. Um, for a while, the big studios kind of were dominating big budget films, a lot of CGI, and we love heartwarming stories, and we want to make sure that there's a just robust film community in every city that we're in. So anything that we can do to make that uh, uh, more effective and get more exposure to local filmmakers, indie filmmakers, small budget films, uh, we're all into it. And just really using our experience in creating that platform and making it easy for them to get exposure is something that I'm really proud of and our team does an amazing job. Okay, all right. Because you're the man, I'm gonna give you two nerdy questions. Yeah. The first one being, when it comes to films in our universe, sci-fi, superheroes, fantasy, and all that, what is your all-time favorite movie that you have seen at the Studio Movie Grill that is just perfect for the big screen? Yeah, uh, my favorite movie was uh, Miracle at Studio Movie Grill because it was at a tipping point right. where we were just kind of getting started. We weren't able to get first run film yet, so we were just transitioning to that. And it was just such a heartwarming story. Uh, it just kind of got me. And unfortunately, I had to work right afterwards. So I had a red face, red eyes. It's just such a, a great story, even though I knew it was going to happen. So I'm going to go with Miracle. All right. Um, now, when it comes to like nerdy movies, uh, especially for 
for you know, and fans like us, we're all about you know the weapons, you know, the lightsaber to the Star Trek phaser, Thor's hammer. If you could have one weapon that, you, that would be your weapon of choice, what would what would it be? <laughs> I would go for the mind eraser. The mind eraser. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have a term for that in business. It's called the paper shredder. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. We look forward to another 25 years of the studio movie. My pleasure.